So lesson one, compound interest, the basics. If we take a look at the definition, how does compounding work, and then a little bit about it compounding per term, and that should give you the basics of what does it really mean to compound. So if you look at the definition here, and that is compound simply means that it's a thing composed of two or more separate items. And the key item is two or more. Now, the two items that we're interested in, in this case, is money amounts and our starting amount of money, which is better known as the principal, P, that's what you would begin with. Now, this is a dollar value of some amount that you would either invest or that you would borrow. Now, for each term, for a length of period of time, and that's a term, you will be charged if you're borrowing an interest or you will be getting an interest in return for your investment and that interest okay is our second item and I will designate it as I so basically what we have is our compounding is composed of P which is your principal plus whatever interest you earn for each term and again, a term is just an amount of time. So visually what happens is the following. So imagine that you started with a certain amount of money. So that would be the blue that you see. And then for your first term, which is a certain amount of time, it could be a year, it could be a month, it could be a quarter, you're going to make a certain amount of interest. And that's the green. Now, at the end of that particular term, if you finished, what you would have is you would basically have the composition of your actual principal plus you would have your interest, which would be added in on top of your original. So now, as you can see, for your second term, you obviously are starting with a little bit more. So whatever interest that you might be earning, or if you've borrowed, then that interest gets accumulated on top. And what happens is now, all of a sudden, what you will have is your interest is obviously is not going to be the same because your starting point, which is your principal plus your interest, that is the compound, the composition of those two items, now will grow for you a little bit more. So this interest now gets a little bit bigger. And as you can see, so now what happens is that our principal, our original interest, plus our new interest, we can add all of those together. And that's gonna be your new starting point. So what we have is in the next term, so this is what we're carrying. This was our original after the first term. And now all of a sudden, we're going to be adding this on top. Okay, And as you can see, this gets a little bit bigger. And every single term, you are starting with the composition of your original principal plus the interest that has been accumulating. And again, what happens? is that your interest once more is going to grow. It's gonna get a little bit bigger each time because your starting amount is more and more. And as you can see, if we continue this to the fourth term, okay, and we keep piling on the actual interest, it just gets bigger and bigger. So that is how compounding works. The idea is that you want to be starting with a certain amount of money and then the actual interest just accumulates on top and you keep adding it at the end of each term. So let's visualize this maybe with a certain amount of money. So let's imagine that our original blue was actually $1,000. So we would have a starting point, our principal P of $1,000 at the beginning. And now just for the sake of simplicity, I will say that our original interest is 10%.
Now, of course, that 10% is off of the original amount of 1,000. So what is 10% of 1,000? Well, it's $100. So what we have is that our interest after the first period would have been $100. So our amount that we have, so if I take this, for instance, this what you see right here, so that amount, okay, which now gets, which was added now together, was our new starting point, and that was our $1,000 that we had. plus the $100 which was added to it. And what happens now our new starting point, so our new principle for term number two, because we've added them together, is this much. And now our interest, which is 10%, all of a sudden becomes $110. Notice that it's a little bit more because our original interest now starts to earn money on top. And what we do is now we're going to be adding that amount together. So visually, so this is what happens here. So we have that. And that amount is your original point. So these brought in together and that would be 1100 plus the 110 and your new starting point all of a sudden becomes a little bit bigger so notice now after just the two terms you already have $210 more so compounding is just simply bringing in your principal and your interests together at the end of each term that you have and we can continue this process for term three, term four, and so on. And as you can slowly see, the interest is going to outgrow your principal in the long term. And that is what's going to make you money. Or if you borrowed, it's going to make the bank money. Now, one of the other items that we had here is compounding per term. And that is exactly what I was referring to we have terms now these particular terms are lengths of time where we are compounding and that is an agreement that you make either with the bank or in investing or whatever that you set and that term can be anything it can be one year it can be one month it can be three months which is a quarter and that's something we will discuss in the second lesson so i hope that with this visual you can see and understand a little bit about compounding basics, meaning your principles and your interest get added at the end of each term and reinvested. Thank you for watching.